hey guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video for you guys um do not forget to subscribe like this video if you do um and make sure to share 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 and do comment um yeah um today's video will be a little different from my usual videos i just wanted to share with you guys um a bible verse that really spoke to me today um and it is first peter 5 verse 10 and it says, And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Um, I will read that again. Um, I'm reading for the, from the NIV version. Um, and it says, And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Now, typically when I'd read a Bible verse like this, I'd be thinking um, this refers to a futuristic time. Um, this is not talking about now, but it is instead talking about something that will happen at Christ's coming, something that will happen in the kingdom to come. But in actual sense, it's not referring to anything futuristic but it's something that God not only does then, but he does even now. Um, in a previous verse in uh, 1 Peter 5 verse 7, the Bible says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Now, the thing is, God is telling us to cast all our anxieties um, on him because he cares for us. He's telling us to cast our burdens and our worries on him. What God does is not that he, he doesn't, take away our anxieties when we pray to them, when we pray to him, I beg your pardon. Um, he doesn't take them away from us and then leave us empty. But what he does is take on our, ex Ugh. he takes on our anxieties and our worries and our burdens. But in return, he restores us. He revives us. He heals us. He makes us firm, strong, and steadfast. And that's something that I, I didn't know, and it only hit me till this morning. And I just hope this message encourages somebody um, that God doesn't do the restoration only in the future, but he does it even now. He doesn't leave you empty um, and not knowing. And I hope it encourages you even more to surrender your anxieties and your worries and your burdens to God. Know that you're not in this alone or you're not walking your journey on your own. God is with you and he wants to take on everything for you and restore you and heal you, supply you with strength and energy to keep going and to make you steadfast and firm. Um, this really spoke to me because at times I'm fearful, at times I'm hesitant because I want to still have control of things that are going on around me, even if I know it's outside of my control. Um, I still want to bear the burdens because I don't know if I can trust him. But this helped reassure me and it hit me. It really did because I know that even when I give my burdens to God now, I don't have to wait for a time whose date I do not even know. Um, but God would restore me now. And he will heal me and he will give me the strength I so desire and need. Um, I hope this um, message and I hope this Bible verse encourages somebody out there. And um, I pray for you guys. And may God continue to bless you and to bless your families. Um, even during these trying times we're going through. Um, till next time, till the next video. Take care and God bless.